Hello, my name is Santiago Gonzalez Izar and I'm going to present the paper entitled Virtual Reality in Higher Education, an experience with medical students. This research has been carried out by, with my colleagues Cristina Vivo, Juan Antonio Juanes and Ramon Palau. During last years, education has been progressing, starting to use new technologies to improve current methodologies. However, with COVID-19, education is bound to change in record time, to adapt to a new society where students need, for example, remote education and new evaluation tools. On the other hand, new technologies offer new teaching learning tools that are starting to be widely used, such as virtual reality for an interactive education and gamification functionalities. We have implemented a virtual reality platform where the medical students can access different kinds of contents. Let's see a video about some of these contents. When you wear the virtual reality glasses, the first thing you can see is the main menu, where you can access the different training pills. The first pill is a virtual tour inside the human school. El cráneo es una caja ósea que protege y contiene al encéfalo principalmente. A esta visión interna vamos a acceder a través del orificio más voluminoso de la base del cráneo, el foramen magno o agujero occipital. While the student listens to different explanations, it is possible to see all the anatomical structures from inside. This option allows the user to visualize the anatomy of the school in a unique way, being able to understand its morphology thanks to a completely three-dimensional view. Along with explanations, 3D animations are shown to help understanding. Another kind of content are 360 environments and videos. We have recorded different surgeries with special cameras capable of recording 360 videos. This option allows the medical students to live the experience of being inside a real surgery from anywhere and at any time. This is a cheap technology that can be very useful for these coronavirus days. We have also designed different virtual interactive simulators. For example, this is a cardiac auscultation simulator where the user can practice to find the auscultation points, but also to train to recognize heart diseases by listening to the sounds of each point. In order to get this, we have recorded the heart sound for each of the auscultation points for each disease. The user has to recognize the disease and the system evaluates the results automatically. We selected 38 students from the University of Salamanca in order to analyze how our virtual reality platform impacts on the study of the anatomical parts of the human school. The first group of students used traditional teaching resources to study the anatomy of the school while the second one used our virtual reality platform. After 20 minutes, the students were evaluated and they got these results. The students who used our platform got much better results, as we can see in the graphics. So, after implementing the virtual reality platform and different contents, we can conclude that First, students enthusiastically embrace virtual reality technology. Second, students are more motivated with virtual and interactive learning. And third, virtual reality manages to transmit knowledge more effectively than traditional training tools. 
Just to finish, I would like to say that virtual reality can be the solution to many problems that we will have to face the following months or even years. We must take advantage of this technology more than ever. Thank you very much for your attention.